What's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. Today, it is finally time to go ahead and pull these Seneseo, the string of pearls. It's these guys right here. I'm gonna be taking these out and swapping them out with something a little bit more cold tolerant, because these are not, not at all. The Seneseos, they're not the easiest plants to come by, at least where I live. I'm in zone 6A6B and they sell them in the house plant department sometimes, but uh, this is really the first year I've actually been able to find them and it seems like they're everywhere this year, but it's never been like that before. So instead of leaving these in this clam to just die during the winter time and treat them as an annual, I would much rather pull them out, pot them up, and keep them in the house over the winter time. The lemon coral sedum, however, I think I'm going to leave. These are rated zone seven and up, so seven and warmer. And I am in, I'm right on the cusp of 6A, 6B. Winters here are pretty unpredictable. And since this is in a pot, it's gonna be even more exposed to the elements. So I highly doubt they'll survive the winter, but I'm kind of okay with it if they don't. So I'm gonna be swapping out the Seneseos with pansies, the cool wave pansies. And I'll go ahead, I'll pull the Seneseo out first and kind of see if it seems like it's still very lacking. Cause it would be nice to go ahead and have the pansies running all the way through with the cabbage kale and the grass behind it. Now it seems like the Seneseo has kind of taken off with its growth, so I don't know how easily it's going to pop out, but seeing as how it's a succulent, it's gonna be shallow rooted, I think I'm probably going to be able to just lift it right out of the pot. I'm gonna give it a, <laughs> give it a try and see if it comes right out for me. But first, have to get back in here and get all these lava stones out because they are going to end up being buried when I move the pansies in here. So I might as well pull them out for now. Put them back in when I'm done. Okay. And the Seneseo, I'm not going to pull it from the plant because they are very delicate. Though they're easy to repropagate from their cuttings. You know, I may end up losing a few pieces. That's okay, that's better than losing the entire thing. So, hey, look at that. Popped right out and left a nice little divot in there to stick the pansies in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rest of those out and get moving. So now that I have those pulled out, I have the option to go ahead and just stick three pansies in there or pull all the lemon coral sedum out first. First, I think I should have a look at the pansies, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I picked up several of these hanging baskets that have the Cool Wave pansies in them because it really was just cheaper to buy them the hanging basket with the hopes of dividing them up and using the plants. They sell them individually for like four to six dollars for a little four inch pot. That doesn't make sense when I can get the hanging basket for $8.99 that hopefully has at least three plants in it that I can divide out of it. Come in a lot of different colors. The only thing I don't know is if these guys are as cold tolerant as just your regular pansy. I would think they would be, but maybe that is lost somewhere in whatever genetic stuff happened to make them trail and rebloom. So for this year, it's kind of an experiment. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm gonna go ahead and find where this basket, where the hanger meets the pot, and usually they just unclip right out. It's not always that simple because they're kind of barbed, but I'll be able to get it out of there. So what I'm doing now is I'm just getting in here and I'm kind of sectioning them off. I'm sort of trying to find their natural growth direction. And uh, basically I want to see uh, the individual plants. Okay, so now that I have everything sectioned off, I can see here that there are five plants in here. There's one in the center, then one, two, three, four, around there. And with the clam, there's about five or six spots in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll pull that lemon coral sedum out and just replace the whole thing with pansies. And look at that, popped right out. Just stuck my fingers down in there, lifted it right out. Now that I know that there's an abundance of the pansies, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm at least gonna go ahead and just pull the sedum out of the front. 
There's three open chambers, so I could double up in the middle one and then go with the sides there and tuck one in somewhere else. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull out one of the other sedums, though. This is also really a good opportunity to get in here and go ahead and pull out the lower leaves from these kales and cabbages. You can see this one's starting to take off, which means I need to make sure that when I put this back out, it gets more sun. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put the pansies back in. It's a little bit different than what I would normally do. Normally I would fill it first and then put the plant in and fill around it. Because of the awkward shape and angle of this, I'm actually gonna put them in before putting in the dirt and then I'll put the dirt in behind them. And then to fill this back in, I'm actually using my cactus mix, my cactus and succulent mix. I know that probably seems a little bit odd because none of these things are cactus or succulents. However, these are hopefully going to be out here and growing all winter except for the grass in the middle. So the soil that's in here, the potty mix, needs to be something that doesn't hold water and drains really, really well. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and take those lava stones I pulled out earlier and start filling this back in. The reason I like putting the lava stone in here is because, well, it help soak up some sun during the day and hold on to some heat and just sort of insulate things a little bit at nighttime and it gives things a more finished look to have some gravel covering the surface. I'm being careful though to make sure that I'm not piling the lava stone anywhere around the crowns of the pansies and I want to make sure I want to make sure that the growing apex the center of the plants isn't buried by too much soil because that'll just rot out. All right that's all done. I'm okay with it. It's definitely not as tidy as it looked with the Senecio, but that is all right. It's going to provide something that can be out here all winter long, and hopefully they'll do okay. I went ahead and I watered them back in very lightly. The soil there was already kind of moist from some rain that we've had, and uh, I added in a little bit of the uh, Espoma Biotone starter. Yeah, I blended that in with the cactus mix that's in there. Not very much, just a little bit. The temperatures are fairly cool and that's when the pansies are doing their best. So I'm really just going to kind of be keeping an eye on this for a while and seeing how they do because they were ripped apart. So I am even going to move them to part shade. I don't want to getting too much sun for the next couple weeks while they're reestablishing themselves. Man, does that look junky compared to when it had the succulents in it. And you might be wondering why I left the one sedum in there. I just kind of want to see how the lemon coral sedum does here in the winter time, see what its breaking point is for dying back. So I thought I'd go ahead and leave that one in there. As far as the Senecios go, I'm going to be repotting those and talking about those in a separate video. That's going to do it for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. It really helps me a whole bunch. I really like talking to y'all too, so go ahead and comment down below. I'm also on Snapchat, Trop Plant Party. I'm also on Instagram, Tropical Plant Party, and uh, Twitter, Tropical Plant JC. All that stuff is on my main page on YouTube. So hit me up however you want. So fun talking to y'all. I hope everybody's doing well. And as always, keep on growing. Bye-bye.